The joint that you smoked with Willie Nelson. Yeah. You took the half a joint that you smoked with him and you framed it. Where is that now? That's in, in my house. Bowl? Yeah, that's I've in got your that house. On shelf. Yeah. <laughs> it's on a shelf. Yeah. 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 What a that brilliant was... idea. Well, he, he like twisted one up for us, like to, he was like, now you kids enjoy this on the road, you know? And, yeah. uh, and so we like all smoked half of it with him and we kind of like put it out and I was like, I'm saving that. You know, is it as it. much fun as we think it is to hang with Willie, smoke weed? It had to be mind blowing for you. Oh my gosh. Well, I've smoked with Willie a lot, but a lot. Uh, yeah. Well, we were on tour together and actually it was early on. It was such an insane tour. It was it was me and then Allison Krauss and, you know, her band and then Willie Nelson, like insane, wow. like lineup. It was so cool. And it was all outdoor, like wineries and amph- amphitheaters and stuff back then. It was like one of my first tours. And I was like, this is crazy. Um, so we kind of, yeah, he's very generous with his stash. We were on tour with him or whatever. We all were, you know, went up to the bus and, uh, I was like so high I couldn't like I went I broke through the space fabric like I was like I'm not even here anymore and like Allison Krauss was on the bus like Dan Tominski all these like amazing players and I was like hey Willie I was like do you ever do that song are you sure and he goes are you sure this is where you want to be and I was like (laughs) yeah that song and he's like he's like do you want to record it and I was like uh okay (laughs) he's like all right he's like well i'll sing it i'll sing it with you and i don't know out of a cloud of smoke i don't know where it came from he just pulls a guitar his guitar like out of nowhere and just starts strumming it and i was like literally geeking out so hard um but yeah we ended up recording that one together we got to film a video for that one um my little sister was uh one of the directors on that and we shot it in austin texas and i'll never forget it there was uh, we did a tequila shot we, uh, I got to pick out what he was wearing. He had his braids and like fringe and rhinestones on. And, I mean, it was the coolest day ever. I love Willie, his whole family. They're so incredible. You love him. I love him. Like he feels like a grandfather figure to me or something. And, and it's cool. Like, you know, getting to, getting to hang out with him and, and him, t- he's a storyteller. So you're a big weed person, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I used to be, I used to be like the biggest pothead in the world. And I think. I don't know. As as I got older and busier, it just kind of stopped doing the fun thing and just started doing the bad things to me. So I'd kind of <laughs> just like, you know, it kind of made me anxious. I was like, mm, I don't know. Paranoid? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit socially awkward, like as if I'm not already enough sometimes. And it was just like, how do I exit this situation? Like I'm overthinking every little thing. I was like, this kind of sucks. I'm just not going to do this anymore. Yeah, I can't do it. I mean, it makes me completely awkward and paranoid. I mean, more awkward than I normally am. It's just (laughs) awful, you know? I don't know how people smoke it. I mean, I'm not saying I'm done forever. I'm, like, not a teetotaler, but I just maybe not the, like, you know, wake up and fucking hit a gravity bong and, and like, exist in a cloud for the rest of the day. Maybe just not that.